Today on VanCan, I jump into the woods, I get bonus points for nose manualing down the landing, and we hit a lot of jumps. I'm riding with a huge crew today, which includes fellow YouTuber Dale Stone. I'll have a link to his channel down in the description. We're riding Thornhill today. It's only got 100 meters of elevation, and you can actually see the top of the mountain, mountain, uh, right from the bottom. So it's a quick pedal up, but a really fun ride down. <laughs> it's my first time on the mountain, and we're doing a warm-up lap. Down a trail, I think it's called Trail Dweller. I'll be hanging at the back today, and that's actually a really good thing. Everyone in this crew is a better rider than me, and they're a lot faster. And that's one of the ways to really improve your riding, is trying to chase someone who's a lot better than you. Oh. <laughs> one of the things that I'm noticing is that these guys have the skills and the confidence to really keep their speed, especially through the coners, and that's just something that I probably, well, I really need to work on. I said this in my last video, but I noticed it again during this ride, and that's that I benefit from a warm-up lap. That first trail we ride, I always feel really tight and really awkward on the bike, and it's just, it's just okay. But I noticed that after that, the next trail, or the trail after that, I just feel way better, way more confident on the bike. And even though I've been riding for about two and a half years now, I still find that I'm a pretty nervous rider. I definitely think that my braking needs some work. I just, I come into corners, I get too nervous, I don't want to trust the bike, and I just make things awkward by grabbing the brakes too much. And that's just another thing that I definitely need to work on. Speaking of things that I should work on, not trying to go as fast as I can on a trail that I've never ridden is probably something I should work on, because things like this happen. Alright? Yeah, this jump goes this way. <laughs> Yeah, that jump's a bit deceiving. Yeah, I just went straight. I was like, oh, the trail's probably going straight. And then I landed like on the corner and just went into the bush. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. We made it to the bottom. So we hit the climb trail, heads up for a quick pedal up back to the top. This time we're heading down Thorn Star, a technical jump trail that gets the better of me. Once again, you can see the crew is slowly pulling away. These guys are fast, and the best part is, they make me want to go fast. Well, unfortunately, wanting doesn't always make it happen, but I, I try anyway. And here we come to the first big jump, and... Uh, something just gets me and I don't want to hit it. Sometimes jumps just get in my head and I just don't want to do any of them. And once again we pull up to a jump that I could definitely do but I just don't. Something in my head says don't do it and well I just have to listen. This time I finally hit one of the smaller jumps and I think things are going okay. And then we get to this last one and my front wheel slips off the lip and I gotta put a foot out. And 
That scares me all over again. Luckily for me, we're at the bottom of the trail, and we get to head up, and hopefully the next lap goes a little better. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that trail. <laughs> Weird trail. Yeah. We head back to the top of the mountain to hit two double black rated jump trails. Flow Rider into Rip and Dip. This is another time where following people that are better than you really is pretty awesome. Hitting these jumps by myself is probably something that would have taken me quite a while, but instead I can follow these guys, they show me the speed, and we just go for it. Boy, she's greasy. And I'm definitely trying to keep up this time because I want to watch these guys hit the jump so that I know how to hit the jump. And that was Flowrider. I made it down mostly okay except for this almost crash into the tree, but we decided to head back up and give it another go. I think everything's going great, and I land really nose heavy. That one did scare me quite a bit. My eyes got so water in the corner. But I can't leave things like that, so I've got to go up and give it another go. This time everything goes as planned and we decide to go back up again. I do love a good jump trail. and everything goes great, but I can't seem to stay on the trail after this last jump, and I'm gonna need to if I want to get down to the last trail, Rip and Dip. Now that we're done with Flowrider, it's time to get a clean run through Rip and Dip. But unfortunately, our clean run through Rip and Dip is interrupted by a couple guys using it as a climb trail. So instead of hiking back up, we decide just to pedal all the way to the top and just do Flowrider right through to Rip and Dip. Yeah. 
This time we're going for a full pull clean run through both jump trails, so I'll give you a minute of jumps. And I've made it through. Although that last jump was a little questionable. Should have pedaled more into that one. <laughs> All right. So we hike back up just a session rip and dip. It's just a short trail, but it's so fun, we just can't stop riding it. Sweet. That's funny. Neato. Let's get it, brother. Alright, this is you're styling After many jumps, we decided to call it a day. So thanks for watching, and if you want to support the channel, one of the best ways you can do that is by subscribing, hitting the like button, or leaving a comment. And if you want more content, extended cuts, and these videos a week early, consider checking out my Patreon, and I'll see you in next week's video.